Korean fan culture not only produces global stars like BTS and BLACKPINK, but has also driven young lives to tragedy, as seen in the cases of Seolli and Kuhara. Today, we delve into both the fascinating and dark worlds of Korea's intense fandom and untold story. Hi everyone, we are Sean and Jin, a bit different Koreans. Curious about what makes us different? Check out our previous video above. So, one thing we've really noticed while being in Bangkok is the huge popularity of K-pop, especially Blackpink. Jin, do you know why Blackpink is so popular here? Yeah, because of Lisa. Exactly. It's because Lisa, one of the members, is Thai. Kick in the door, one by one, then two by... Sean. Okay. <laughs> Today, uh, we want to talk about why K-pop and K-drama stars are so popular. Even if you're not a fan of BTS or Blackpink, have you ever wondered why? Yes, why? These bands are so insanely popular worldwide. We're going to dive into the secrets behind their success, but it's not as simple as you might think. So stick around until the end to get the full picture, both the good and the bad. We'll break it all down for you with plenty of insights. So let's go! Yay. Behind the success of K-pop, K-drama stars, and even influencers, there's a powerful fandom. She's that excited for twice, yes! <laughs> oh <my. laughs> Korean fandoms have some unique traits you won't find anywhere else in the world, and we are going to explore them one by one. First up, here are some fun facts. Did you know that every K-pop group has its own unique fandom name and color? Jin, who was your favorite K-pop star when you were growing up? 여러분, yes, I know Dongbangshingyu too. Hottest boy group in Korea uh, in the late 2000s, right? Did they have a fandom name and a specific color? Hmm. So I bet their concerts were filled with a sea of red. Another example is BTS, now a world famous group. Their fandom name is, as you all know, ARMY, and their color is purple. They are even known for turning the entire city of Las Vegas purple during their concerts there. Secondly, K-pop fans often raise money to celebrate their favorite artist's birthday by organizing various events. They even put up birthday ads in subways, on buses, and in international spots like New York's Times Square. If you have ever been to Seoul, you have probably seen these happy birthday messages on subway billboards. Third, here's another interesting fandom tradition. Fans sometimes send food and drink trucks, yes trucks, to the sets where their favorite stars are filming or to their concert venues. It's like a little perk to keep the staff happy while taking care of their star. The star usually takes a photo with the truck to thank the fans as well. Isn't that clever? Fourth, of course, businesses couldn't stay away from such strong fandoms. Fans pay for services that allow them to exchange messages directly with their favorite stars, and within fandom platforms, they can connect with other fans worldwide, making the fandom even stronger. Lastly, this fandom phenomenon is a major reason why K-pop artists maintain such strong global popularity. Fans organize streaming campaigns to get their favorite artist's new song to the top of the charts. They might focus their streaming at specific times or use multiple accounts to increase the number of streams. Now you know the secret behind the global streaming craze of K-pop stars. All right, seeing these fun facts, doesn't it seem like Korean fans are incredibly passionate? Let me introduce some positive examples of how this passion shines through. First, there's voluntary donations and volunteer work. Fans often raise funds in their artist's name or organize environmental campaigns to celebrate 
their artist's birthday. It's amazing how fan activities evolve into social movements. Isn't that impressive? Secondly, the economic impact of fandom is huge. A great example is when BTS held a concert in Las Vegas during the height of COVID-19 uh, when the travel industry was struggling. The concert in fact drew in 200,000 visitors who booked hotels and dined in restaurants bringing new life to the city. Third, let me tell you about a singer in Korea who might be even more famous than BTS, Im Young Un. Usually, stars have fans in their teens or 20s, but Im Young Un's fans are mostly around our mom's age, in their 60s or above. His songs provide great comfort to mothers who've been through many challenges in life. Honestly, when I listen to his music, it really moves me too. Yes, at his concerts, there are more than three times the usual number of staff to guide the elderly fans, prevent accidents. A staff member was even seen carrying an elderly fan up the stairs, which became a viral moment. Isn't that so touching? <laughs> Lastly, this fandom culture isn't just limited to K-pop, dramas, or movie stars. You can also find it among influencers and YouTubers. There is an American bike rider and travel YouTuber named Nikkei who's become super popular in Korea these days. After he started posting videos from his trip to Korea, his fan base grew by 200,000 in just a month. Oh, I wish that too. So please subscribe to our channel if you like our content. Uh, when Nick mentioned wanting to meet his subscribers, Korean fans took it upon themselves to arrange a cool summer fan meeting. They reached out to a popular dessert cafe chain, Seolbing, and asked for sponsorship. Wow. So eventually, the company agreed to host the event. Isn't that just amazing how passionate Korean fans are even when supporting a foreigner? All right, and now let's get to the part I really wanted to address in this video. You see, everything has its pros and cons, right? The same goes for fandoms. Behind all the passionate support, there are a few issues that come with it. So let's unpack them one by one. First, the saddest reality is that this strong fandom can turn into a double-edged sword quickly flipping from support to harsh criticism and attacks on celebrities. Fans can be so deeply invested in a celebrity that when their actions or choices don't meet their expectations, the disappointment or a betrayal they feel can be intense. Yes, very intense. This often leads to anger, turning them into antis, leaving nasty comments, and even trying to control the celebrity. A tragic example of this is the cases of Sully, a former member of FX, and Kuhara, a former member of Kara, who both took their own lives due to the relentless online harassment. These incidents sparked huge discussions in Korea. Oh, they are. So instead of hate, we ask that those watching our YouTube content please support us. Secondly, this one's a bit scary. Excessive stalking. Jean told me about this recently, and there's actually a specific term in Korean for this kind of fans, 사생 fans. It's not just about following celebrities around. Uh, let us share some real examples with you. Jean, can you share the story of your favorite 동방신기? 네, 저도 이건 최근에 동방신기 멤버 중한 명이 방송에서 과거를 회상하면서 공개한 내용이라 
알게 됐는데요 제일 충격적인 거몇 가지만 얘기해 볼게요 첫 번째는 남자 연예인 집에 몰래 이 여자 사생 팬이 들어와서 자고 있는 남자한테 올라 타가지고 엄마. 키스를 하고 도망갔어요 oh, no, that's so creepy. 두 번째는 이 남자 연예인이 산 아파트 같은 층 바로 건너편 아파트를 구해서 거기 테라스에서 매일 지켜보고 있었대요 What a stalker 거의 공포 영화죠 oh, oh, It's horror movie 세 번째는 차를 타고 이동할 때이 사생팬이 택시를 타고 쫓아와서 음. 일부러 차를 이렇게 들이받는 음. 거예요 뭐... 사고를 내버려 그렇게 해서 남자 연애를 그럼 실제로 마주칠 수 있으니까 그거를 12년 동안 당했대 와, wow, for 12 years. years That's crazy That's just not stalking It's serious criminal behavior 근데 다행인 것은 요즘에는 이 사생팬이나 특히 스토킹 범죄에 대한 사회적인 인식이 많이 개선되어서 이런 사생 범죄가 조금씩 줄고 있는 추세라고 해요 Yeah, it should be The third negative phenomenon is uh, something some of you asked about in our K-drama Truth video. If you haven't seen it, check out the card above. It's fun and insightful. The question was, why do fans react so negatively to celebrities' private lives like their dating life? A prime example is when news broke about girl group Aspa's Karina dating and fans expressed their outrage. Karina even had to apologize to her fans. Is it really that wrong for a single woman to fall in love? Why does this happen? I think there are a few reasons. First, Korean fans really value communication with their favorite stars and even expect it. Because this communication happens frequently and on a deep level, uh, fans sometimes develop feelings that go beyond simple admiration. So when news of their favorite star dating breaks, they feel a sense of betrayal. Second, um, I mentioned earlier about the uh, unique fandom culture in Korea, where fans can pay for services that allow them to exchange one-on-one -on -one messages with celebrities. These services deepen the fans' feelings of love and attachment, making it harder for them to let go emotionally. The last dark side I want to cover is how fandom can lead to collective actions. The most recent example involves BTS. Uh, as of now, August 2024, BTS member Suga was caught riding an electric scooter while intoxicated, collapsed in the street, and is now under police investigation. It was revealed that his blood alcohol level was high enough to warrant a license suspension. But the real issue here is that after this news broke, uh, his response was found to be somewhat dishonest, which led some BTS ARMY fans to demand his departure from the group. A culture critic discussing this incident said that Suga's future activities in Korea might not go smoothly, which led some toxic BTS fans to harass not only the critic but also his wife through personal calls, uh, emails, and social media messages. Isn't that so terrifying? This toxic fandom behavior isn't limited to celebrities. If you leave a comment on content by a YouTuber with a large Korean fan base, probably uh, with over 100,000 subscribers, that disagrees with their opinion, you might get flooded with hate comments from their fans. All right, we have covered a lot today, haven't we? Uh, from the unique aspect of Korean fandom culture to its positive and negative sides, I try to give you a well-rounded perspective to help you see the bigger picture from multiple angles. When we only focus on one side, there can be uh, misunderstandings and distortions. So I wanted to make sure that you got the full picture. Do you feel like you understand better now why K-pop groups like BTS and BLACKPINK have such a massive following? And also, why some celebrities in Korea sadly even take their own lives because of this intense fandom? Korean society has many unique characteristics that you won't find in other countries. Uh, these are often difficult for foreigners to fully grasp, so if they're only looking at snippets of media without social context. So we're really glad we could share our experiences and insights to give you a deeper 
more accurate understanding. If you have any questions that we didn't cover today, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments. As always, I'll try to respond as much as possible. And if we get enough likes, subscriptions, and comments, we might even create more content based on your questions. See you soon with another fun video. Bye for now. Okay.